everybody, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here today with a product review. Now this is something that I don't usually do because really I don't buy that much stuff. Not this kind of stuff, that's for sure. Um, I made this purchase on Amazon and I think it was about $50 and that's a lot. But they're, it, they're tools that will last a lifetime. So this is what I purchased. The Micro Palm carving set from Flex Cut Carving Tools, made in the USA. And that's why I would pay a little more for this. The fact that it was made in the United States and it helps to keep American workers with jobs. And I'm very happy to do that. Plus, product is really wonderful. So let me show you what you get. You get it in a shrink wrap package. Then... Um, I was like looking all over going, now how do you get into this? And all of a sudden, accidentally, I moved this and figured out that it's in a slide box, which is a very nice way to store these tools because they are sharp as the dickens. Um, they come in a, it says number nine, one millimeter, number nine, 1.5 millimeters, number five at 2.5 millimeters, and 45 at one point I mean at one millimeter so I'm not I, I don't know if I understand the nine nine five and 45 is it 45 something it's got a, like a degree symbol on it oh anyway so what you see on there this is a, a scoop cut like a half circle this is a larger half circle this is a more extended half circle and this is a v-cut so that must be what these are alluding to. The number nine is the half circle one, and it's just telling you it only does one millimeter. This is also a number nine, which is a semicircle, and it's a little bit bigger, which is the 1.5. Then you have a more relaxed half circle, a little wider, which is the number five, and it's 2.5 millimeter. And then you have the V cut, and that's why it's got 45 degrees. That's a 45 degree V cut. So there we figure that out. And it's a nice wood box. Okay. What I love about this is the fact that they're nice and lined up. And this will be a permanent home. These will not be rumbling around in a drawer because this is their home. I took them out and played around with them today. And something I really like about them is they fit in the palm of your hand and they are easy to grip. It's not like um, Speedball where it's kind of an awkward shaped tool for some people. I have little hands and I thought these were great. Although I don't hold it that way that, you know, you can put your fingers here and then the palm, you wrap your palm around and do it like this. I thought they were very comfortable. I want to show you something else that shows that these people have a great sense of humor. There's this that helps to prop them up because, you know, they have these little indentated pieces that they rest in. What cracked me up is this has a little yellow thing in here and inside here are <laughs> band-aids. I had to laugh because I'm thinking, wow, it's like the first day I was in culinary school and we got our knives. Um, there was a Band-Aid first aid box readily available uh, at a, you know, for the first day we did knife cuts in my soups and sauces class. And this reminds me of this, but this is so funny. I had to laugh. I did. I got a big old chuckle out of it. So I want to commend Flex Tools for having a good sense of humor because this is really true. <laughs> People get crazy and cut themselves. I have before, so. All right, so um, let me show you what I did. Now, um, because this is Carve December, I have not really done any carving this month, but I did pull out some blue um, rubber, and it's disintegrating. It's I've had it for a couple years, and it I don't know if it was old when I bought it, or two years it's its shelf life. I don't know, but it was starting to crumble and disintegrate so I threw the rest of it away but I did manage to get this carved out of these tools and this is what I did with it it's just a little oval with hash marks in it it's not you know we're not talking great artist creation this is mimicking something I saw 
um, on a video. So there you go. There's that. So this blue stuff, I don't know if I would recommend it. I don't even remember where I got it from, but uh, it's crumbly. All right, so then I had some, I think this is Speedy Carve, and I think, is it Speedball who has the, has the uh, Speedy Carve? So I had, this is just a, where is it? A piece that I measured, tried to measure one inch by one inch off of this piece that I had left over. This stuff did not crumble and it's still flexible and wonderful. So then I took uh, an ink pen and this, well, no, not that. Where's my tool? Oh, hit this and tried to do semicircles and circles and all that on it. But still what's left over is your ability to carve <laughs> so, you know, please don't get excited. This is not fabulous. All right, so let me show you what I did with this one. Where is it? I did it on a... There we go. So that's what this one looks like when it's done. And this is one inch by one inch, and it's just done, you know, like this. There's those. I had this was the original one, and I took the curly Q things out and dumbed it down. I'm kind of sorry I did it now. Um, what it was is I took the half circles that were solid out of the little end pieces because they didn't line up. They still don't line up, but at least it's less noticeable now than this. But I had fun. The second one I did, which I don't like at all, is this one. Trying to use these little fine carving tools really does challenge you. All right, so here is this one, which is, again, a one inch by one inch. I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. But it does make, you know, these patterns here. I added more marks on this one to gussy it up a bit because this was a little too plain. But I just thought th these were a lovely tool. I wanted some for a while. I just, okay, I just couldn't part with the cash. <laughs> so I did want to come on and do a little product review. I think that I would like these a little sharper than what they are. I mean, they are sharp, let's face this. They, they are sharp and they do very fine lines. I mean, that's a little skinny piece of rubber right there. Um, but I think maybe I might need them just a dad sharper, which means I'd probably need a tourniquet, not band-aids. <laughs> oh, let's see. Here's an itty bitty one. There's a little tiny one. I think this one is the second to the smallest. And then did we do the big one already? Oh shoot. I can't remember which ones I've already done. I am such a rocket scientist. Three. Where's number four? Oh, here's number four. And here's the big one. So you can see the different focus, focus, come on, focus. Well, oh, there you go. You can see the different uh, widths. You won't be able to see the angles very well. But I thought these were money that was well spent. They come in larger sizes. I'm not sure if you can buy them one at a time or not because I ordered these a while ago. And I don't remember um, what all I, I, oh, I know what I did. I bought the cheapest thing that I could that had small cuts because I thought maybe it would help me do more delicate things. But I think what you need is really good tools to hang on for years and years, but you also need practice and skills to work with. And when you don't have um, the skills, it doesn't matter how good your tool is, you know? Um, that's like, you got very expensive Kalinsky water watercolor brushes. You've got very expensive Daniel Smith, Sminky, all those kind of really good pigmented colors, and then you can't paint a flower where squat. It's not necessarily about the tool that you use, but the skill that you have. Oh, somebody's at the door. You know, it's really funny. We always talk about getting, upgrading a security system. I'm thinking, why? I have three dogs. <laughs> nothing that moves and nothing that moves.
goes unbarked at. <laughs> Sometimes even the cat gets a little freaked out. All right. Um, anyway, so I was playing around with these, and I just I wanted to come on and talk about how wonderful I think these are, and I will continue to use them. Maybe not to do carved December this year, but to carve different things um, to play with. Let me show you. I did a whole page on um, yellowing book text for background stuff and I thought it was a lot of fun to carve and use the new tools and then use to stamp use them to stamp for other projects. I really enjoyed carving with these and I I think that um, I'm really gonna like these much better than the speedball but I need other you know I would like a better variety than what I ordered but it's good for a starter set and until I can afford to reorder again for more to add to my set I will continue to use my speedball. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the speedball. Um, the only thing I don't like about speedball is you can't sharpen them. You know, you just have to replace the blades. And if you're a carver that carves all the time, that gets expensive after a while. And I live in the middle of nowhere, so I don't always have access to that stuff. And sometimes Amazon does not have everything. I know, don't faint. <laughs> don't faint. But some, that's true. They don't always have everything you need when you need it. So... Anyway, so I thought I would come on and talk about it and show you what I carved with it and, you know, just reiterate that it's not just about having expensive tools. It's also about your skill level and practicing so that when you have these great tools, you know how to use them properly and you know how to use them for your skill level to your advantage. Okay, everybody, that is it for this unscheduled YouTube video. Um, hopefully I will be back with working on the Christmas book. All I've done so far is the cover. I have thought about what to do about the guts, but I haven't quite decided. I think I might use cardstock because these pages that I was gifted are a little more sturdy and I cannot fold them in half because they're vertical, not horizontal. So they're not going to fit in the book the way I want. So I'm going to have to cut each one down to size individually. So I might have to use cardstock cardstock to glue them onto cardstock that's going to make the book really super fat so I think I may be just going with two signatures okay so that's it for the um, micro palm set from flex cut carving tools made in the good old USA and I will see you guys with the next video hopefully with the continuation of the Christmas book see you later bye bye